Psalms 59, to the chief musician, Al Chikadif, a Mitchum of David, and a Mitchum is the prayer. When Saul sent and they watched the house to kill him. That's 1 Samuel 19. That's where uh, Michael protect David as he left and put the image in his bed. And Saul said, well, hey, if he's sick, bring him to his bed to me so I can kill him. Yeah, he didn't do what? He didn't do Deliver me from thy enemy. Oh my God. And that's who should protect you. God. Defend me from them that rise up against me. The enemies of David. The enemies of Israel. Deliver me from the workers of iniquity. And save me from bloody men. Murderers. And David's asking God to protect, every, protect him from everybody around about. Leaving nobody out. Israel, David, will have enemies, especially in the tribulation period. For lo, they lie in wait for my soul, death. And the mighty are gathered against me, strong ones. Not for my transgression, not for my sin, O Lord. David's innocent. There is no purpose and no reason for them to come after David. And when Saul does this, Saul is angry at David because the women said David killed more men than Saul killed. The women were praising David more than they were praising Saul. And David was innocent. They run and prepare themselves without my fault. David's innocent. Awake, help me. And behold, this is the same thing Jesus Christ. Pilate says, I find no fault in him three times. Herod says, he's innocent. What do you want me to do with him? Crucify him. Why? What do you do? Crucify him. Well, I'll tell you what. I got a murderer here. You want the murderer or you want Jesus to be free? We'll take the murderer. What did Jesus do? Nothing. A type of Jesus Christ, David is. Second Advent. Then therefore, O Lord God of hosts, God of Israel... Awake to visit all the heathen. Awake. Second Advent. Be not merciful to any wicked transgressors. Selah. There it is. Second Advent. Musical rest. And when Jesus Christ comes back, that sword coming out of his mouth, all the goat nations will be gone. All those that were against Israel, that didn't help Israel, gave Israel no aid, no comfort to Israel, they're gone. They're wiped out. They return at even and make a noise like a dog, howl, barking, and go round about the city, savages, Gentiles, dead, unclean animals. And he's describing Saul's troops. He's describing the people that are around and trying to have Jesus crucified. He's describing the troops and the people for the Antichrist. Behold, they belch or burp out of their mouth. Swords are in their lips. Sharp, cruelty, instruments of death, war. For who, say they, does hear? God don't hear us. God doesn't know what we're doing. We're perfectly fine. But thou, O Lord, shall laugh at them. And you don't want God to laugh at you when you're an enemy. And that's spoken of a few times in the Bible. Thou shalt have all the heathen in derision. A, laugh, a laughing stock. They're going to want mercy and grace and they're not going to get they're going to get a laughter from God. It would be a joke. But thou, O Lord, shall laugh at them. Thou shalt have all the heathen derision because of his strength. Will I wait on thee, David said. That's what Israel is going to have to wait for in the tribulation period. 
for Jesus to come. For God is my defense. And what's the defense of God in the second advent? He's going to wipe out the, he's going to wipe out the enemies of, of Israel. He's going to defend Israel by wiping out his enemy. And it's not an offense because they're attacking Israel. So God comes in to play, hey, I'm just protecting my people. The God of my mercy shall prevent me. God shall let me see my desire upon my enemy. David's going to be resurrected. David's going to sit prince in Jerusalem under Jesus Christ. Slay them not, lest my people forget. Scatter them by thy power. And bring them down, O Lord, our shield. Shield of protection. Shield is a defense. It's never an offense weapon. For the sin of their mouth and the words of their lips, let them ever be taken in their pride. There's pride. A sin. Their mouth is sin. Their words are sin. And for cursing and lying, which they speak. Sin. It's a sin to lie, no matter what kind of lie you tell. Another second advent passage. Consume them in wrath. Jesus Christ comes back in wrath. Consume them that they may not be. And they won't ever be after that. And let them know that God rules in Jacob. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Unto the ends of the earth. Selah again. And I even let them return. And let them make noise like a dog repeated. And go around about the city. That's repeated. Verse 6. Savages. Let them wander up and down for meat. Looking for food. And grunge if they be not satisfied. They don't get enough food. They don't catch David. They come back to David. And they, they, they walk into the room. And they find out that that bed is not David. It's a image. They don't get what they wanted. But I will sing of thy power. Yea, I will sing aloud of thy mercy in the morning. Second Advent. For thou hast been my defense, protection, and refuge in the day of my trouble. I want that trouble is. Revelation 12. Now unto thee my strength will I sing. For God is my defense, protection, and the God of my mercy. There it is. 